In this video we're going to be using the Texas Instruments 83 or 84 plus financial calculator in order to look at a concept called effective annual rates. The idea of effective annual rates is sometimes we're offered investments that have different compounding periods. We know the higher the interest rate the better off we are but also the more frequently we compound the better off we are. So here we have a trade-off. Would we rather get a little bit higher interest rate or would we rather have a little lower interest rate but have it compounded more frequently? Is 7.8% compounded quarterly better than 8% compounded annually? Or is 7.75% compounded weekly better than either one of those alternatives? That in order to evaluate that, we've got to move everything to its equivalent effective annual rate. So make comparison of apples to apples instead of apples to oranges. We've got to hold the compounding equal and then see which is a higher effective annual rate. Now there are two ways to do that. One is to use a formula and the other is to use a function in your financial calculator. I'm going to walk through both of those. In our formula we want to set it up. The effective rate is 1 plus the nominal rate divided by M where M is the number of compounding periods per year raised to the M minus 1. Now the idea of effective annual rates is to convert everything to their annual equivalent. Here 8% interest compounded annually is already an annual equivalent. We don't have to do anything to it. So let's go ahead and do the 7.8% interest compounded quarterly. That would equal 1 plus 0 0.078 for 4 raised to the 4 minus 1. Couple of things here. One, make sure you plug the nominal rate in as a decimal. Don't plug it in as 7.8. It'll screw you up. You've got to plug it in as 0 0.078 in order to get the right answer. Another thing to be careful about is order of operations. Do this first, add the 1, raise to the fourth power and then subtract off one. Our final answer here is going to be in a decimal which we can then convert back to a percentage value. So let's go through that real quick. We have our Texas Instruments 83 or 84 calculator. Got a blank screen so now I'm just going to plug this formula in. I use my parentheses in order to preserve my order of operations so I'm going to start with an open parenthesis and just one plus and then I'm going to do another parenthesis because order of operations say division comes first so I want to make sure I get that division as 0 0.078 divided by 4 close that parenthesis and now I want to have a second close so I can raise that entire quantity to the exponent, raising that to the fourth power. Quarterly is four quarterly compounding periods per year. And in your Texas Instruments 83 or 84, you should see a little caret operator for an exponent. So I want to press that. Now you can see it is asking me for what power I want to raise it to. That's four. And now I want to move back make sure this isn't in the exponent so I'm going to use the direction pad just press the right arrow that'll get it off of the exponent subtract off one and now I want to do the alpha solve in order to get my answer and I do that and I get eight or point zero eight oh three what that means is eight point oh three percent so let me just go ahead and write that down. Seven point eight percent compounded quarterly is eight point zero three percent compounded annually. Same thing. Now I can also do that with my financial calculator. Do it on the financial calculator. I want to go to apps. I'll bring up my applications. I want the finance app. And now you can see I need to scroll down. 
I don't have an effective annual rate here as my apps, but there's more than seven apps. So I just want to use the direction pad, keep scrolling down, and eventually you'll see, and it looks like it's C there, as the effective formula, the effective app. So that's the one I want. Select that. And now I see effective. Now the approach for effective is the nominal rate divided by M, or not divided by M, but nominal rate comma M. If you want to, you can close the parentheses. You don't need to. And then you want alpha solve. And I put that in green here just as a reminder that you need to press that green before you press enter in order to get the right answer. So we've got our effective. Now here you put the interest rate in as a percent, not as a decimal. So 7.8 is our interest rate. Your comma button right here gives you a comma separator. And then the M is the compounding periods per year. Now all I need to do, alpha, solve, get my answer, 8.03%, same as we got before. Now what I'd encourage you to do is go ahead and solve for the effective annual rate of 7.75% compounded weekly. And just real quick, let me give you the check figure for that. If we have 7.75 compounded weekly, note weekly is 52 periods per year. So we've got 52 weeks in a year. A lot of people will mistakenly use 48 there because they approximate there's four weeks in a month, but that would be 28 days in every month. And we know February is the only month with 28 days. There's a few extra every other month. So we actually have 52 weeks in a year. So once we get that set up, again, you can use either approach, the formula or the financial calculator, but you should get 8.05% for your final answer. That should help you solve for effective annual rates. Again, you can either use the formula, use the app in your financial calculator, or if you want to double check, you can take both approaches and make sure you get the same answer. In this case, we'd prefer 7.75% compounded weekly. Doesn't make a huge difference, but it does give us a little bit higher effective annual rate.